for any of you that are subscribers to Johnny No Skills, you should recognize this driveway. We are at the house of No Skills. And um, unfortunately, Johnny had to go to work, but we've got Johnny's R6 right here, followed by my Honda CBR, and then the Ninja 650 right here. So we made it, and we're actually packing up. We're about to head back to Atlanta. For a 1300 mile adventure. Ooh, it is cold. Back to warmth. Yeah, it's um, it's in the teens here. How does it How does it feel? It feels cold. Yeah, it feels really damn cold. Her yes. Is going back in Atlanta. So. Us southern boys don't know anything about this cold, and uh, we don't like it. Oh, we stick to our fried chicken. <laughs> you stick to the fried, yeah, man. <laughs> you got it. All right, so we're about to head out, and I just want to do a little, just a little video here before we head out. Clear skies. Um, in this part of Minnesota, we got no snow on the ground. Uh, there was only really snow in Minneapolis, so we're actually going to try to head south and maybe avoid the snow in Minneapolis. We'll see. Oh man, things just got really crazy here. We're on our first day on our way back. And uh, we're in Iowa right now. Silent Blade's bag. Something happened to his bag and uh, all of his stuff, man, it ripped apart. And he just lost it all over the expressway. It, He's gone to look for his stuff. He's doing a loop around and I'm gonna try to pack his stuff onto my bike. But uh, I mean, you can take a look at how crazy it is. Like. That's all that's left of his bag. Silent Blade made it back. He didn't manage to find his, his bag, but um. Uh, looks like everything's um, all secured now and we're ready to head on. You can kind of see right here. Ripped off in the piece. Yeah, with the bag ripped off. Yeah, this side, this side we just took off because it was unbalanced. It looks like uh, it was hanging down. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see it's all melted here. Looks like the bag was... Uh, rubbing up against the tire and just pulled it off but uh, looks like everything's going good now and we should be good to go oh god freezing so we've got another repeat of day three of the way up here because there's like snow and everything is frozen. So it looks like we're not going to make it to our destination tonight. And we're just going to try to find a, um, a nearby hotel. Look at all this snow. We tried to get to a hotel after it started snowing really hard and the interstate was so covered in snow and ice that um, our tires were slipping on the interstate. So we, we tried to um, walk on the like side of the road and even that was super slippery plus it was going to be 12 miles to the exit. So then we tried to, there was another exit further behind us that was closer. So we tried to
turn our bikes around and um, go. It was like a kind of like a grassy ditch, and that's not working very well. Our tires are kind of just spinning whenever there's a small hole in the ditch. So now we are here waiting for a salt truck because we saw a salt truck go by. And if a salt truck salts this interstate, it should be safe enough, safe enough for us to get to the next exit. If not, we're just gonna try to leave our bikes here, you know, in this ditch, walk back to the last exit, and then call a taxi, and then we'll just have to get our bikes in the morning. Mist and shadow. Cloud and shade. As you can see, we are in a hotel here. So what happened was, it's a good thing we didn't get our bikes back on the road because the roads were definitely frozen. And actually, um, some cops came and helped us out, and they gave us a ride to a hotel. And we're going to try to get the bikes towed in the morning. So. So with the help of the tow truck, we were able to push the bikes out of the ditch. And uh, it shouldn't cost too much because they didn't have to tow or use the winch or anything. So the roads, roads are looking pretty dry today. I think we're gonna be in good shape. Get all the secured. All right, man. I hate how we can't see around this truck. All right, this can be tricky. All right, first, I'm gonna go forward first so I can see. Just, I'm just going, man. Oh, this is fucking scary. I feel my tires slipping with all the snow on it. I think all the snow is off. Okay. All right, we're moving. All right, nice dry roads. The tires are warming up. We made it. Oh my God. It feels so great to be back on my bike. And my bike was not damaged in one piece. Oh man. I was so scared. Uh, I was like, oh man, my bike is just gonna get stuck and damaged and we're never gonna get home, but I'm feeling a lot more confident now. We got some nice dry roads. We got our bikes back on the road. It's a good thing when we um, planned out this trip, we gave ourselves a um, kind of an emergency day. We gave ourselves one extra day before we had to go back to work, just in case something like this happened. Oh my god. 
such a good feeling. Oh. I think the, the tow truck is going to pass us. Let me wave him thanks. Alright, I think we can go faster than this. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Back on the road. So, what does a vlogger do after um, 400 miles in um, the teens and 20s degree weather? Well, we go to Hooters, get some beer, get some wings, and we relax. And um, of course, enjoy the scenery. <laughs> and enjoy the scenery, of course. <laughs> But uh, most of all right now, we're, we're enjoying the fact that there's no snow outside. No snow at all. So, um, it's pretty nice. Right now we're in Springfield. Uh, tomorrow we'll be in Nashville, so... With a stop in St. Louis. Yeah, we're stop in St. Louis where to get some cool, uh, cool shots of the arch and stuff. You know, we've never seen that. So it's going to be epic. So we just got back, back in Georgia. Nice and warm down here. So you guys can see our bikes are covered in salt. Look at all that mess, mess everywhere, salt. So we're gonna have to wash our bikes now so they don't rust up. I don't know if you northerners. Look at this, my helmet's like rusting. Yeah, his helmet is rusting just over the course of the trip. <sighs> Made it safe. No one hurt. I guess the total was 2,800 miles, so probably gonna get my oil changed. Gonna clean all this nasty salt off my bike. Check what happened to my tire. It's like all squared up now for the trip. Yeah. I gotta get it replaced. Yeah, you can kind of see. When I left it was like this and now it's like this. It's like flat. Pretty crazy. Right there. Yeah. Almost no tread here. So. <sighs> going for trips like that are. <clears throat> right out of tires. Yeah, I just got my brand new tires. So my tires are still looking really good. You got now I'm going to go take a nap. It was fun. Stay rubber side down, guys. Night is falling You 
you've come to Jenny's end. Sleep now. Dream of the ones who came before. They are calling.